Hello, today we are going to look at Form 3 Mathematics, Chapter 3, Consumer Mathematics. And uh, one of the subtopic is Loan Repayment and Installment. So in this part, we are going to learn how to calculate the total loan repayment and also installment, usually monthly installment. So basically, when we are applying a loan, either you want to uh, buy a house or a car, we are taking a big amount of money from the bank. The amount that we take from a bank, we call this the loan. And when we are paying back to the bank, we are going to pay back in small amount, usually in a monthly basis. Means we are paying back a very small amount month by month. And this very small amount that we are paying back every month, we call this amount the installment. So we are going to calculate what is the total loan which includes the interest charged and how do we calculate the amount of monthly installment which we are going to pay back to the bank. Now we look at the two calculations method for the interest. So it depends on the types of loans, uh, the bank will charge us differently. We have the flat interest and we have interest of the, on balance. For flat interest, the amount of interest will be charged based on the amount of loan that we take. Whereas for interest on balance, the interest will be charged on the monthly balance. So we take a look at the, the example so that you have a better idea on what are the differences. So the example here is based on a textbook. Look at example 1, Mr. Ali bought a car. And let's say the car cost him 60000 He pays 10% down payment. So which means he, he is not paying the total of 60000 He only pay 10% of that 60000 in the form of cash. So the down payment here, in order to calculate the amount, we take 10% of the value of the car, which is 60000 means he only paid 6000 when he first bought the car he only paid 6000 in cash so how much uh, is the balance it, which is uh, 60000 minus 6000 which is 54000 means he still owe 54000 to find this uh, large amount of money he need to loan from the bank and this amount of money the balance 54000 is going to he is going to repay the bank in installment over 6 years of time so the bank will charge him with a flat interest rate of 4% per annum so the interest for the 6 years will be p times r times t so the p here refers to the amount of uh, loan which is 54,000 times R in terms of uh, fractions, 4 over 100, and six, uh, 6 years. From there, the interest charge will be 12,960. So what is the total amount of repayment? The total repayment will be 54,000 plus the interest charged here which is 12,960. So these two, uh, you total up, you get 66,960. This is what we call as the total repayment, total repayment. And since he's going to pay back in six years, what is the amount of monthly installment? How much did he have to pay the bank every month? You take 66,000, 960 divide by how many months over the six years which is six times 12 months which is 70 uh, two months so you divide it he have to pay he has to pay nine thousand nine hundred and thirty per month this amount we call this amount the monthly installment hence these two are the uh, two important things that you need to know how to calculate on loan types of problems we try to look at example number two again. Example number two, Azri here, he obtained or he applied for a personal loan of 20,000 and the bank charged him the interest of 4,000, 4% 4 per annum. 
and the repayment period is seven years means you have to pay back everything in in seven years so what is the monthly installment to be paid by Azri? you know we can calculate this uh, based on example one because it's exactly the same with example one but here we can also use formula which is the total repayment which is the total repayment here a equals to p plus prt where p is the amount of the loan which is at twenty thousand r is the interest t is the time so we just substitute the values inside this formula a is the total repayment p is the amount of loan twenty thousand and then twenty thousand times red four over one hundred over seven years so the total amount of loan that Ms. Uh, Azri have to repay the bank will be 25,600. This amount will be divided by 7 years, which is 84 months. So after you divide it, you get 304.77 cents. Means this is the amount that he, have to, he has to pay every uh, month. Now we look at the second type of method to calculate the interest the interest on balance so we go straight to the example here the example is Harry obtained a personal loan of 15,000 from a bank the interest rate is 6% on the balance so it is mentioned here when it's mentioned it's on the balance means it is not a flat interest rate the repayment period is 10 years while well, the monthly installment has already been calculated which is 170 per month so over the 10 years he has to pay 170 every month the question asks calculate the total interest paid by Harry for the first two months every month the interest charged will be different the amount will be different let me show you okay the first month so after he loaned, okay, remember he take uh, he he applied for fifteen percent, uh, fifteen thousand. The interest rate is six percent. So the first month interest here will be fifteen thousand, the total amount that he he loaned from the bank, times six percent. And this part, the time here. And since it is only the first month, only one month passed by, has the interest charge will be charged for one month only. And one month, since the T here were, uh, is using the unit of years, so one month will be 1 over 12. And here the interest will be 75 ringgit. The 75 ringgit will be added to the total amount of loan. So a loan at the end of the, the first month will be 15,000 plus 75 the interest. And he now owes the bank 15,075 ringgit. So remember every month, he paid the installment of 170 which is already been calculated he have to pay this much hence at the end of the first month he owes the bank 14905 after deducted by the first installment so this balance of 14905 14905 will be brought forward to the second month so during the second month the, uh, this balance here will be charged with the interest again and will be charged with 6% and again uh, along the second month uh, only one month passes so the time here is 1 over 12 for one month the interest is only charged for a month so after you calculate this we get 74.53 notice that the interest is lesser compared to the first month because the amount here is lesser the amount of the loan is lesser and this second and this interest will be added to the 14,905 hence at the end of the second month he will owe the bank with a total of 14,979.53 and the balance after he paid the 170 will be 148,09.53 so after the second month he is now owing the bank as much as this and this balance of uh, 14,809.53 will be brought forward to the third month and it will be charged again with the interest over one month 
and the process continue. Thank you very much.